Hi, my name is Dyers from Team Solo Mid, and this is my basic champion guide to Rengar Top. As Rengar, it's very good to be against melee champions because you can use your jump and the brush to gap close with them and just constantly trade with them. Because you don't have a mana pool, for the most part, you should be able to out-trade most champions, and if you're against ranged champions, you can easily kill them from level 1 to 2. If you can't kill them early on, then you may have a problem later because some champions are able to push you out and keep you away from your, move, from your brush. When laning as Rengar, everything you do is extremely important when it comes to harassing, last hitting, warding, or even buying. When you're early on as Rengar, you're generally stronger from 1 to 3, so you'll get the first push. But after that, the jungler can gank you very easily. One of the good things to do is, on the cannon wave for laning phase, you, you can push up and then back for another Doran's and maybe a ward. This will allow you to give control of the lane for the rest of the laning phase, depending on the TPs. And once you hit level 6, you can push up and look for rooms on middle. If that doesn't work, you also have the option of TPing to the second tower bottom and then ulting through lane. This is a very unique thing to do. But depending on how the lane goes, you can either TP bottom to just fight or TP through lane. and Or you even have the option of basing and just running straight bottom and then TPing back top. For team fights on Rengar, you're pretty useless without your ult. But if you have five stacks, you can kind of peel or look for flanks and just sit somewhere to one shot someone. If you're unable to team fight, you should split push as much as you can and force people to come to you. It's very, very important to use your Rengar ult wisely because when it's down, that's the very big window for enemies to make plays on you. During the late game, your Rengar ult is cooldown is pretty low depending on how much CDR you have. So it's not too much of a problem later on, but early mid game, it's definitely something you should play around. When playing Rengar, a good tip is to keep the lane in the middle. The biggest thing about Rengar is having his passive to either jump on the enemy or jump on creeps. When you're pushed up on, you can't use the wave and you get harassed under tower depending on what champion. But when you're pushed up, you have the option to play the mind game where either you roam, you base, or you just sit in the brush and then go on them when they get back into the middle of the wave. It's really important to count how many creeps are on the wave because if they have too many you may die just from creep damage alone but depending on how you play the mind game it separates the good render rengar players from the really great ones for runes on rengar i like to go flat ad reds flat ad quints flat armor yellows and flat mr blues so the reasoning for this is that on Rengar, your early game from level 1 to 3 is very, very good. And when you have flat AD, you have more chances or more damage to kill your enemy laner by just jumping at him from the brush. If you go all armor pen, you'll be very good later on, but it's up to you to balance from armor pen and flat AD. For masteries on Rengar, I like to go 21-9. For skill order on Rengar, I like to max Q, then W, and then E. The reasoning for this is because at 5 stacks on Rengar, his E does the same damage whether if it was level 1 or maxed. When maxing W second, you get more tanky stats, and it does more AoE damage. When maxing Q first, it does the most damage out of all 5 abilities, and is your most consistent form of damage. Depending on how you play Rengar, it all depends down on the meta, and personally I prefer the attack build over the defense build. The reasoning for this is most of the other tanks will just out-tank you, and with your skill set, you're more prone to building attack than defense just because of the nature of your champion. For item builds on Rengar, you want to start either Doran's Blade or Claw 5 depending on your lane and then continue to stack either two or three Doran's Blade and eventually either build a Brutalizer or a Tiamat. This is all very situational, but either one will give you damage or CDR or anything to do what you need to do. After that, one of the main cores on Rengar is Last Whisper, 
but there's also the option to go Trinity Force because of the utility it gives you. There are very few players that build this, but it is a very good all-around item when it comes to solo queue. Thanks for watching my basic champion guide on Rengar. Check out more guides at slowclass.com.